Hello, friends. Welcome back to our short story series. In our last series, we shared the stories of animals. In this new series, we are going to share classic fairy tales, updated and changed based on your suggestions. In this story, we are going to hear about a star hockey player who is looking for a husband. She has looked everywhere and has found lots of hockey players, but no true star hockey player. She has sent out invitations all around the world, telling them who she is looking for. Will she ever be able to find a star hockey player? Now, before we continue with our story, let's start by making sure you are comfy and take some great big belly breaths. Breathing in slowly through your nose and slowly out through your mouth. Notice how your belly rises as you fill yourself up with air. Breathe in. And breathe out. Notice how relaxing it feels as you release the breath. Breathe in. and breathe out. You are becoming relaxed, calm, and peaceful. One more time. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out. Now, let's continue with our story. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a star hockey player who wanted to marry another star hockey player. But he must be a real star hockey player, mind you. So in the off season, she traveled all around the world seeking such a person. But everywhere, something was always in the way. Not that there was any lack of star hockey players. Canada had many... Finland had many, and the United States had many. But she could not seem to make out whether they were real star hockey players or not. There was always something not quite right. Therefore, home she came again, a little depressed for she wished to marry a real star hockey player. So she sent out notices all across the world in many different languages that she was looking for not just a hockey player, but a star hockey player to be her groom. Interested parties should come in person. And she waited. One evening, a terrible storm suddenly swept into the town in which she lived. It thundered, and there was lightning. The trees swayed, and the rain poured down. The thunderous crackling noises and all the water from the torrential rain was pretty scary for everyone in the town. 
In the midst of the storm, there came a knock at the door of the house of the star hockey player. And her father, who was visiting, went to open it. It was a hockey player who stood outside. You could tell it was a hockey player because he still wore his hockey uniform, even though it was summer, and his skates were slung across his shoulder. But he was in a terrible state from all the rain and bad weather. The water dropped from his hair and clothes. His skates were overflowing with water and his sneakers were in tatters. But when he introduced himself, he insisted he was a real star hockey player. Very well, thought the father, that we shall presently see. He said nothing, but went into the guest bedroom and took off all the bedding then laid a hockey puck on the top of the bed frame. Having done this, he took 20 towels and laid them upon the puck and placed 20 blankets on top of that before returning the mattress to the top. The hockey player lay upon this bed all night. In the morning at breakfast, he was asked how he had slept. Oh, quite horribly, he said. I could hardly keep my eyes closed the whole night through. I cannot think what there could have been in the bed. I laid upon something so hard that I am quite black and blue all over. It is dreadful. It was now quite evident that he was a real star hockey player, since through 20 towels and 20 blankets, he had felt the puck. No one but a star hockey player could have noticed the feeling of laying on a puck. So the star hockey player asked the other star hockey player to be her husband. For she knew in him she had found a true star hockey player and friend. And the puck was put in a frame on the wall where it is still to be seen, unless their children took it to play on the ice. And that's the end of this silly story. Now, say after me aloud or just to yourself. Every day is a fresh start. I am calm, relaxed, and peaceful. Sleep tight. Thank you.